Right, so what are tropical storms and how they're formed? Here we can see a satellite image of a tropical storm. We've got the eye with really calm conditions in the middle, the eye wall around it with the really strong winds moving in an anti-clockwise direction with strong winds on the edge of the tropical storm. They're called different names in different parts of the world. In the Atlantic Ocean, we have hurricanes. In the Indian Ocean, we have cyclones. In the Pacific Ocean, we have typhoons. A case study that we've looked at is New Orleans. Hurricane Katrina affecting New Orleans in the United States of America. Lots of impacts, lots of flooding. A uh, very good example to use. Where do tropical storms form though? Important for us to remember the sea temperatures must be 27 degrees Celsius. So that's gonna only happen in certain parts of the world and in certain seasons. So they form in the summer and in the early autumn period. Where do those two conditions combine? That to be 27 degrees Celsius and in the summer. We're looking between five to 15 degrees north and five to 15 degrees south of the equator. They'll never form on the equator because of the Coriolis effect. How do tropical storms form? First of all, we have a huge movement of air upwards that gets drawn into the storm. Okay, the water vapor from the surface of the ocean rises up, it evaporates and it cools to form our huge towering thunderstorm clouds. Eventually, all of that heat gets released and we start to get storms that form together to give us our really huge powerful winds. When it reaches 75 miles an hour, it's officially a category one tropical storm. It goes all the way from a category one to a category five. Eventually, it starts to build an eye and you have air descending and rising up again. So that constant cycle of evaporation and condensation, and as it gains strength, it will start to spread and move across the equator and starting to affect different countries. Eventually, once it does reach land though, it will lose its energy as it's cut off from its water source 